and welcome okay so we got in my man Fiorelli he's just um, working out which particular deck he wants to have a go with um, and uh, we'll, we'll see because I am looking forward to testing out properly testing this own cars misfits um, um, now I've asked him to play a deck that's um, uh, sort of meta-ish um, and okay it's not against Pomaz um, but this is pretty much the first proper game I'm playing with Uncar's Misfits but it is against Nines Django which can be pretty shooty and uh, stick out a lot of damage um, and let's face it if I can't play it and survive against something like this um, then I'm not really going to stand much chance against Po Maz. So we'll go with that. So, um, yeah, let, let's see it, see how it goes. Right, uh, yeah, I'm really quite excited about this, um, uh, about this uh, Uncar, this new Uncar build. Um, now, it's obviously, it was made by the guys... Um, who were heavily involved in in doing swdestiny.com and um, it's a lot of control I mean a lot of control uh, it's hardly any dice um, which is really quite um, quite fascinating I mean there's very few dice cards in it uh, and it's it's probably the well the the nastiest control I've seen really it, it really is going to be I think hard work to break this deck down um, and ultimately it's it's a it's a deck that wins by a mill so let's see what we get doing here then uh, I think I really like what it's doing I mean it's playing some crazy looking cards guys and I realize that well we don't see that early we don't see that early uh, no disintegrations early is not really all that exciting. I quite like having interrogation droid early. Don't really know that I need to see armor plating so early. I tend, I think what what the idea is, you tend to need to see something like armor plating like mid game, and just give a character that's getting beaten on by then a, you know, a couple of extra points of health oh my goodness I've drawn back two of those cards now the hunker down is going to be nice in this matchup potentially very nice um, so that's really good so he's hello playing ascension gun <laughs> uh, okay so he's mulliganing two Okay, so let's have a look here. Let's see what we get. And this can roll quite a lot. There we go, and a six. That's not a bad roll to start with. Because we've got three, the two, and a three on the tie pilot. We've got um, um, four twos potentially out of that lot. So he rolled. Okay, so I'm going to play with ours. He can take some shields, that's fine. Um, I get the feeling that this whole thing gets a lot easier if you manage to win um, that battlefield. So I think we are on for getting a good feel for, for what, what this is like. Uh, I've just got much awakenings. Yeah, that's tough, Steve. That's really tough. Um, well, I'm going to concentrate on this so I'll make a good fist of it uh, and we can talk about things like that uh, afterwards. Um, right, so I feel like well, the clear target is obviously Uncar Plut. So I'm actually going to just plonk this straight down. Wow, he's got nothing to play out onto nines. That's a shame. I clearly, been a bit unfortunate there. He's rolled two shields. I'll take it all day long. Let's get that on him. Now, that's just hopefully to avoid if if Django rolls two melee results now. 
<laughs> I'll be annoyed. I haven't actually drawn any removal here. Um, so my aim out of this round is to try and get out the blackmail and the interrogation droid. Um, I guess I should be looking to put blackmail onto one car. Okay, that's fine there. So what we'll do is um, I'm actually going to pay two now and get this interrogation droid out because I can start seeing some cards from his hand. Right, he hasn't played any um, things out, so I'm presuming he's going to have some events in his hand that I can use interrogation droid on. Okay, is he playing unpredictable? Appears he is discarding to reroll. Okay, uh, there's nothing super bad. I think I might try and eat the damage on my Royal Guard. I think this is right. When he's there to basically make Uncar have a lot more health, and I can stick a shield in him after this. That's quite good. And of course, I need to make sure that that doesn't hit Uncar. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just going to eat three damage here. I can't do a lot about so let's see if actually let's see if I can get to disrupt on here see I've got no oh my wow Uncar's doing it for me wake up Uncar come on my man I'm gonna need you in this matchup here we go then so we'll have that and that let's just do this now I'll do this effects Random card in his hand. I really like interrogation droid. I like interrogation droid anyway, but I really like it in this deck. There we go. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like we'll get this out first. Back in your hand. Oh, we rolled the three. So depending on what he does next, I might go for the big on car, try and hit that stun button. Because I haven't got too many to pay for loose ends here. I quite like to use that three. I mean, it's really nice the three on that side to be able to use his on car's ability. So. Um, uh, Right, I don't want to risk discarding it. But of course, if I discard it and I discard something, one of the others, uh, this is where you... I think... Yeah, I think I'll do it. Do on car's ability. See what we get. Ah, no! What a bummer. So, I think he probably shuffled that ascension gun back in as well. But if he didn't, and he's got a ascension gun and a stun baton in his hand, I'm be so gutted. Oh, he had arms deal. Okay. So, yeah, okay. He only had the stun baton then. See, in this deck, we've also got um, um, friends in low places, which is really cool for having a good look at their hand, getting rid of something naff, and then... Um, all right, he's taking a resource on that. So, uh, I think, I think we'll discard that, quite happy to discard that, because it means it's, it's in the pile. And we'll have a little reroll. Uh, I'm gonna reroll that. Yeah, because it might mean I can get something out of doing on car plot. Ability again. Okay, well that's another on car plot, oh no. He hasn't got anything left, has he? 
so I got out my interrogation rod, but I'm not going to be able to get out that blackmail. I don't really want to chuck loose ends. That's uh, that's an important card. Let's let's disrupt him for one. probably is worth me getting that resource so I could play out blackmail next turn so I will do that so you should claim here uh, and uh, I'll go again next round There's, there really is no point in me even doing that one guys I'm not looking to do any damage with this deck okay Now, there's a possibility I could get both of them off. So I will keep them both and hope we're drawing some low removal. Oh, I've drawn another blackmail, that is a shame. Right, we've got something chunky coming out. It's a thermal detonator. That's going to be hard work to deal with with this deck. Special nines. He hits the one. And he's going to take himself a resource. Um, well, I feel like if I get Ankar out, uh, uh, see, I don't want him rolling that. Uh, interesting, interesting. He could play another upgrade here. I could pick something quite nice out of his hand with the interrogation droid. Get some shields on Unkar, get Unkar out, threaten his things, but then I'd quite like to get blackmail out. I guess blackmail out on the TIE pilot, just to distract him away from Unkar. That might be quite cool, but the TIE pilot can die fast. Let's do this. Undo the ability. Let's see if we can get rid of a juicy event. Oh, yes, please. We'll get rid of that. He's still got those two. I feel like maybe I should have just pressured him with Unkar a little more, perhaps. I mean, yeah, we got a nice, rid of a nice card, but he's still, oh, he's hit a special. And of course, I would have been able to use Unkar's dice to get rid of because he doesn't like you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really poor play. I really need to get rid of that. So. We'll do this. We'll deal with it a little bit. Yeah, ouch. Well, having let that go off, that might have just cost me this this game. Um, and that's a really, a really obvious, uh, that's really bad misplay by me. Um, but we'll, we'll play out and see. Who knows? Um, but I've just given myself a real uphill struggle there. Um... I think it probably is prudent to get more good dice out on the field now. He hasn't got anything threatening here. But you can be able to afford to get rid of that blackmail. So he is getting the damage done very nice and quickly with this deck. Right, I've rolled the three. He's going to pay the one to get rid of that. Uh, thank you very much. Oh dear, those thermal debts. Yep, he's going to do Django's. And this could be bad news. Well, for pretty much any of the characters here. He got away with it. Um, I think we'll wait until Django actually rolls some damage. So let's roll in tight pilot. Right, we're rolling a two. So depending on what the Royal Guard rolls in, we can 
Unkar away. Yeah. I'm very frustrated with that misplay that's just cost nine damage to the deck. You know, I think it runs tight on the control and, and it just can't afford to to lose that um well, it can't afford to lose that many hit points. So that is a frustration. Let's uh get this down on him. I mean it's all gonna go to pot if I lose on car early, so I need to make sure he survives this round. He's gonna take another resource, interesting. I will stick that on. Oh, what we got here? Yeah, he's managing to get all these things out. I am not getting to confiscate. I'm not, I need to perhaps be playing Unkar's ability more quickly. Sheesh. And we can't pay for that at the moment. So. I'm just going to roll this in. Okay, a shield. Discard into reroll. Maybe on both of them. He's not putting any early one damage. Yeah. Oh, he's rolled a two, so. Well, we're going to have to remove that. Here. And then let's see what uh, so he's going to pass. So, oh dear, it's not going great. I think I'm actually going to do this. Let's see if I can get a resource. Negatory. I'll we'll put that into there. Okay. First time out properly with a deck. We're going to make some misplays, but uh, that was really painful having uh, he doesn't like you in hand and missing the thermal detonator. Obviously, you get being able to go off. Uh, very annoying. Um, but it's not over yet. But yeah, he's got 15 cards left in hand. <laughs> And I've got no salvage, uh, salvage standout. I haven't got Imperial Inspection. Not going to make a difference so much against nines. Um, uh, and, and I've got one removal here. This costs uh, three, so I can at least disarm it with the TIE Pilot, which is really cool. Let's see what he does here. I think the first thing I'll do, depending on what he rolls, I think the first thing I'll do is um, friends in low places. Oh, hello. Okay, so his pain is two for that. He gets to roll that in, and then he gets his ambush action. He's hit a shield. Yeah, he can take that. Not that it makes a lot of difference here, of course, against me in this deck. Twenty-three watching. Hey guys, hope you're all enjoying watching Uncar's misfits get uh, abused in its <laughs> first proper outing here. Uh, with his ambush action, did I miss something? Yes, he's just realising. Okay, so he's overwriting again with another holdout blaster. Very cool. So he overwrote with his ambush action. He's going to do this. He's got himself a shooty. He's putting it onto Unkar. Okay, and then he's got his next ambush action that just got generated from that which he's going to just roll it out. This could be a lot of damage. Uh, 
It's a two damage. Um, don't know that flanking is super worth it. I could just do this. I mean, I could steal one away. Put two onto the tie. Probably isn't going to want to do two. He can just do two to the Royal Guard, which I'm fine about. He's got three cards in hand. I must get that blackmail out on the table early, but. So he's disrupting me one. Okay. Got two damage left there. Let's get this on the go. Because he hasn't got anything to get rid of my blackmail die. That's a bit slow. Oh no, he's doing it in response to Jan to uh, Uncar. And I've rolled a three disrupt. Oh, great. Well, I think I'll probably just end up using it for his uh, for his ability. Oh, he's got a kill on the Royal Guard there. That's quite good. Okay, so, and one on two there, yeah. So I need to start shifting my attentions to, uh, right, let's, have, let's do this, and then I can use on car's ability. Uh, okay. Well, it's going to be discarding that. It's fine. Okay, and then, well, I'm going to get a one or a three out of it unless he overwrites here. He's probably going to overwrite, isn't he? That's what I'd do if I were him. Oh, he hasn't got the one to be able to overwrite that stun button. <laughs> hmm. He's just going to overwrite that. Yeah, I could still go for the get the one resource here. Is that worth it? I don't know really. He's got the one. Is he going to use his reroll? Or is he going to take that one? What's he fancy doing? Yeah, he takes the one. Um. I mean, I'll just do Uncar's ability here. Get that one. I really don't want him using that. Thank you very much. Hmm. <laughs> Sadly, he forgot about that. Which is, of course, what he's taken his one for. He's going to claim. Okay. So I've got a bit of time to do some things then. Let's see if I can speed up the game by, oh, that's annoying, <laughs> by getting a, a loose ends off. Um, oh, disarm is good, but I think we need the rerolls. Let's hit this, just because, right, to disarm. Chucked away, Let's see what we get. Oh, the blank skis all over the place. Crikey. Uh, okay, so we'll pay the two for the loose ends. So four cards. Let's see what we get rid of. Drew them because he had nothing in hand. Okay, a whole bunch of upgrades against nine, so what a surprise. Now, is it worth getting rid of a flank? I don't think it is. I think I need to keep 
Mind you, playing flank is going to be a bit harder. Is it going to be useful against when he's just overwriting and rolling things in? Oh, not seeing Imperial inspection has been really hard work. I think I could get a lot of resources here and an interrogation droid is going to help. So let's do this. Okay, so we've got the one, take the one, we'll play out the interrogation droid. Uh, which can go again, not just going to be very much of anything, but it literally allows us to, yeah, we'll nuke that resource. And, well, uh, I'll then put that on him. Wow. Yeah, I feel I just messed up too much with that really uh, missing that thermal detonator now what have we got for removal we have got nothing but a disarm for removal oh crikey there's a lot of removal cards left in here guys in those 13 cards and we just haven't seen it oh that's annoying that is annoying all right he's paying one we get a baby blaster or something overwritten Paying two. Paying at a four cost. He's got some shenanigans going on there. Okay, he's overwriting it for the Vibro Knucklers. Which has got ambush. It's a great card. I really like Viber and Oculus. Oh, no, he's not playing that out. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's having some connection issues. Do you want to roll it? TTS is usually very, very stable, but occasionally you can get some funniness with it. Yeah, he's obviously got some connection issues. It's not syncing up with what he's seeing here. Sorry about this, guys. That's uh, yeah. He's gonna disconnect and reconnect, and hopefully he should be he should be all right when he comes back in. So he's about to roll in his vibra knucklers. So let's uh, all right. Let's take stock of the situation. So I've effectively got three, mm, nine. 10, 11, 12 hit points left. Now, of course, I can be hunkering down quite a lot still. He has got six events left in his deck and four in hand. I've got no disintegrations to play. That's going to put him down to three. Like, this isn't actually beyond the realms that I could... Now, he could roll crazy this, this round, and obviously that's going to hurt. But let's... Um, it's, it's, it's not over, even despite that horrific mistake I made. Um, oh, and he hits a two. It's good. Bring a stick it on a tie pilot. Yeah. Achoo! And his ambush. He can overwrite. Yeah, he should have one because he had two at the start of the round and he overrode the Vibra Knuckles on top of the holdout blaster. So he rolls out. Oh, Groiki. Well, 
swap, that's the one he needs, plus four more damage onto Uncar. Uh, there's not a lot I'm going to be able to do here. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to get off loose ends. That is a frustration. We'll roll it out anyway, in case he decides to do something crazy weird. There's a three. But I imagine he'll just kill that off. Yep. Okay, so. I'm going to play out, and he's going to hit him for four. Ah, damn it. And they go. Well, that's pretty much going to be game now. I haven't got anything else. Uh, well, Django. Mm, we'll see actually. Let's do this. And it should be in there. So that's three cards. Uh, three mil. I mean, I think you can see how, how this deck works. Um, I haven't seen the removal cards. Um, I should probably have kept flank in retrospect. Uh, and of course I missed out on a terrible um, removal with that uh, he doesn't like you for the vibro, um, uh, for the thermal debt. So yeah, some I could easily have won this if I'd played it better. I mean, that's what it boils down to here. Um, but again, it's not over. It's not over yet. I'm hoping I can get an Imperial inspection off. Probably didn't really need to do that then. Should have played that one of the, yeah. Okay, so let's play out. What's gonna be more important, probably all right, the Imperial Inspection isn't going to be able to bounce either of those back. I'll get a salvage stand in case he decides to try and take some resources. See, now he's looking at the fact he's got three there. He's going to start trying to really hold on to his cards. Yeah, so he's going to turn up to the two and hit him. Nice. He's forgot he's got ambush. Okay. Let's roll that on cut. He hasn't got anything to deal with the blackmail at the moment. That's <laughs> three shields. Great. That's uh Oh, in some ways, <laughs> could I have done it being a three discard? Uh, I'm not really sure here. I mean, he's going to remove it, isn't he? Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, let's roll this out. I'll do the ability, see if there's an event in there. Okay, it's, oh, hello. Well, that's a juicy target for the old Uncar Plut. He might well just discard it here. He could overwrite. No, he can't, because, uh, yes, he could. He could overwrite the stun button, but he's also thinking I'm getting close to being out here. He could roll, he can't, the four for ones, not be any good for him. Yeah, he is going to go for it. <laughs> So he could hit the two. That's probably going to be his best side. And the one isn't terrible. It's something. He's at the four for one. Which sadly he can't do anything with. So I'm going to hit this interrogation. Uh, actually. Oh, that's a bummer. 
Uh, well, actually, I'll see what it is, and I can know whether I want to get rid of it. Uh, okay, sure, it's that again. No worries. I might chuck the disarm. Uh, he's obviously needs a discard to re-roll that, I think, because he's got to try and go for this damage. Can he roll a resource on FN? He can indeed. So. Oh, he's rolled two more damage. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm going to chuck the disarm and re-roll these two. Hopefully we can get a re in fact I'll re-roll this as well. See if we can get a, a resource. Negative. <laughs> uh, should I just claim here? He hasn't got anything else to do, he's going to hit him for one. Peer inspection is not going to help me, none of these discards are going to help me. Yeah, I'll just claim, I think. Yeah, that has turned into a very close game. I mean, again, considering I didn't really play it very well, so it hits me for the one. Uh, I healed for the one though, so it's just going to cancel out. All right. So, he's got three cards that I need to get rid of. Um, I'm going to discard that because I can't play it. Pure inspections are going to be no help to me either. I'll draw my five. Um, we've got some good stuff. Now, the question is. Friends in no place. Now we've just got to put that on the plating on, haven't we? Uh, actually, it might not. Oops. I think. See, if I roll Uncar out, I put him down to one, but he's just going to be able to be overwriting at the moment, so that's just not going to work. I think the best thing to do, I mean, getting the blackmail out will be strong. Con art. Yeah, do you know what? I think it's going to be this, because that blackmail can go off. Something juicy. Three disrupt. Well, he's either paying one, or he's you know, losing all of it. Right, this is where I have to start hoping that he rolls poorly, and I can feel your anger. Oh. Don't think I feel your anger. A one melee. Um, oh, that, oh, sorry, he's doing it in response to that, wasn't he? Oh, and he's just done that. Yeah, okay. <sighs> oh, I didn't salvage stand, did I? I think he's gonna. Ah, he's gonna do it. Uh, so look at this. I think it's just got to get the armor plating out, isn't it? I could pay one. Now can, you can be fast. I'll armor plating. I'll take that one. Whatever he rolls. Um, indeed. Right, he's got to get the kill. He hasn't got anything to upgrade over the top. It's kind of lucky. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I can electroshock the two. Is 
now. He's got three damage he can do, but armor plating will absorb two of it. Oh, he's going to re. Okay. He's gonna, he forgot to do his re roll on that. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's game. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, I'd have removed the other two. That's fine. Uh, so he can deal that. And there he is. He's got exactly the right amount. Yeah. Wow. Sadly, the... Uh, okay, and we'll do a quick debrief here now. Um, Brief to list. Okay, so so it's the first outing, uh, and just getting your head around what it can do and how it works. Uh, I'm astonished at how fast it milled. I mean, that milled quickly. I just didn't. I didn't feel like villain mill actually was realistically something that you can do in the game at the moment uh, despite obviously there being lots of new tools but this is really interesting um, thanks Fiorelli um, let me just switch to things so I can watch you guys chat in and ask you questions uh, so so Steve um, if you check for uh, Uncar's Misfits it's up on um, it's on swdestiny.com. Uh, I think it's Destiny Council. Um, uh, a bunch of guys in the Twin Cities area over in the states coming up with some cool stuff. So yeah. Anyway, um, check that check that out. Type in Uncars Misfits. It will come up. Um, it was really interesting. A really interesting build, and I really liked it. Um, I clearly didn't draw into the removal, I thought. Let's have a, just a quick look at these last few. All right, there's a confiscation. There's another two damage saved. There's a flank. There's a, he doesn't like it. There's another confiscation. There's a <laughs> yeah, and there's an electric shock. So, I mean, as you can see, there's there's a lot of removal in the deck. Um, and it, it didn't come along at quite the right time. Again, if imagine if any of those had come in that previous round or in the other round, I had two rounds, I think, where I had no removal in hand. Um, uh, that was painful. Um, but also, I can see, I'm looking at it, uh, that it was, yeah, absolutely sooner. Definitely new, uh, misplays in there. I mean, the massive misplay that cost me nine damage. I mean, there's no two ways about it. That cost me the game against the deck. If, if, I, if you took nine damage out of that game, I mean, I mean, I win it comfortably, look. Um, and then there's some other little misplays in there as well, I think. But that's because, uh, like every good control deck, it feels like it's powerful, like there's a lot, but it's almost like trying to corral that power and make it work for you. So uh, I'm absolutely going to get into a, another game um, with this because that was really enjoyable. Uh, I'm literally just going to take a five-minute break and go and get another cup of tea and all that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I'll be right back for some more because um, I'm really, really looking forward to playing more of this. I love control decks. I love villain control. Uh, I love blackmail, and that's a brilliant card. I love interrogation droid. I love uncar. Uh, I, I mean, it's just got so much good stuff in it. It's doing things like disarm with a TIE fighter pilot and uh, or with that TIE pilot using it for... Uh, his three side front car's ability off one dice i mean there's lots of really cool things in there and it ekes out your character's health so much with the shields with the hunker downs with the armor platings oh yeah there's a lot to like about this deck really interesting right here we go then yeah exactly steve nine damage i mean if you do that to yourself well you, you deserve to lose the game um but it's just but perhaps it's testament to the decks obvious quality that um you can still make a make a go of it even if you mess that up uh right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop this game here so people aren't trying to log into it and then i will be right back just going to get a cuppa
And we're back. I am freshly teed up. And we got Stan. Stan the man who is obviously a, a local-ish boy because he's getting a low ping most of the time. And uh, he's going to play Pomaz. Get in. Let's see what Uncar's Misfits can do against Pomaz. Let's see if he can hit with, get hit with a thermal detonator like before. <laughs> Now what's really interesting here is I'm going to have to be very careful about my mulliganing. Make sure I get something that's decent. I am going to need a removal. Otherwise these misfits are going to be in pieces pretty fast. Super super shuffle. Let's see what we get. An early con artist. Hmm, he doesn't like he's good. Confiscation, that's going to go back. And obviously I'm going to keep Electroshock. Early con artist is quite cool. Hmm. I'm going to keep it because that's going to help. Oh, two interrogation droids. I'm not going to get those out. Uh, but I probably am better going for the interrogation droids it will just help me see his hand more and all that kind of stuff well wow, let's see how it goes good luck Stan I'm gonna need it <laughs> hello we're all eight yeah that's ours let's go uh, let's go to Full defensive, shall we? <laughs> Love it. Now, of course, he's going to be claiming most of the time, uh, probably all the time, and that's quite all right. Now, I think what I'll do here is I'll I'll get Uncar out straight away because um, I'm going to play at interrogation droids over and above con artists, and we just get two resources. Okay. That's fine because I'm gonna be able to. He don't like you. Ah, that's exciting. Uh, let's play this out. Okay. Oh, there's a prime so prime target for he doesn't like you then. Stan, I turn the stream off, mate. <laughs> You're not listening in. What have we got here? Oh my goodness! We've got ranged damage galore. Uh, unfortunately, I can't hit both of them. So I presume he's just going to hit one of these for five. Um, I can. He doesn't like you. I mean, he's just going to po Mars. Yeah, I'll just get one of these po dice off the table. That's what it needs to be. There's anything better. I'm just trying to work out can I use the Royal Guard to help out here, but oh, he hasn't all focused though. He's rolled a shield. Well, he's gonna do Uncar for five. Uh, I don't mind her taking more shield, so let's pay the two and we'll get an interrogation droid. I want to end each round with him down to as few cards as possible in hand. That has to be my aim. Yeah, you're going to take a shield. I will use the interrogation droid. Alright. We'll use his ability. What do we see? Yeah, we'll hit that. Thank you very much. That was a nice hit, guys. That was a really nice hit. Very pleasing to get rid of that. Uh, you claimed. Okay, fine. 
think what we'll do is we'll take two, roll this one out. He gets the shield. Nice. I'll get the shield on in there. Now, should I just get another interrogation droid out? Or do I just keep everything for removal? No, I think getting the interrogation droid out. It's making me very slow, but oh, they are quite good. Oh, yes. Love it. They're hitting some good stuff. They are hitting the good stuff. I'm getting more dice out ultimate interrogation droids better because it just helps to fuel on car. That's what I need to be going for in this in this uh, game as hard as I can really. Lots of on cars. Nice, we've got our friends in low places to start with. Always hit the ambush though. That's a bit painful. If I could get in peer inspection, get rid of some of these upgrades he's toting. Poe is packing. Right, so we're going to electroshock. It's a Poe special. Pay one, and we shall electroshock. Poe special. It's going to be a lot of damage. If you can get some, we need to focus. Hit the focus. Probably going to get hit with the old thermal, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you could just do double focus. Or you could focus the one into. Yeah. Well, it depends if he's got in hand, of course. Even if he hasn't got anything exciting in hand. I feel like Con Artist is not a card to play in this matchup. <laughs> I wish I hadn't kept that at the start now. Uh, let's see what he does. I think he's just going to focus. Yeah, Poe. What's oh, tense? What's he going to do? It's keeping me on the edge of my seat. I'll have to take another cup of, uh, another sip of my cup. Yeah, special. Okay, what's he going to hit me for? Lone Falcon. No? Felenia Malcolm? Ah, oh, that <laughs> dratted thing. So much damage. Poe mouse players always have thermal death in hand. Yes, I should be ripping it out with Unkar. Of course I should. Now he's got the focus. So he's going to do three more damage. I haven't got a way of stopping it unless I I have to use guard, don't I? I have to royal guard it. On that two. It's a lot of damage. Just take this deck's taken early. It's a lot of damage. Seeing too much mill. Not enough. If I've been pulling in, you know, pulling my armor platings and my hunkered downs and all that sort of loveliness, then I'd be feeling much happier. But I'm not mitigating a lot of damage when he's getting those thermals off. I wonder why he was humming and ahhing about the thermal. Maybe he's got some of the big old things in hand. Oh, I need to get uncarring. I need to get uncarring quickly. Again, I'm, with this turn, it's like, should I have done this turn differently? He's going to go for a resource. So let's do friends in low places then, because he's probably got an event to play here, which I can get rid of if he's... Oh, that one, there we go. So, oh, he's obviously... I mean, it'd be stupid playing the dug in, uh, but obviously that's what I'm going to hit here with this. But I've got one and a three to go for <laughs> with Unkar. Okay. Um, I'm not 
be able to get rid of it. That's annoying. He's going to get 3PO out. But he ain't going to get that great big... Unless he overwrites. Which is probably what he's going to do. Overwrite, go on, you know it makes sense. Yeah. So he's got the ambush, I'm gonna remove. Hmm, what do I wanna get? I wanna get blackmail out, so I need to keep that. That doesn't have a resource side on it, so. Do I wanna get blackmail out? I don't really want to get any of those cards out. I need to have big confiscations and all that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah. Not, yeah. Okay. So she's got the one card in hand. We should be able to get rid of that fairly easily. So let's just, uh, do I wanna, yeah, let's roll this out. Yeah, we'll do that. We know what it is. That's the three PO. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not discarding it. Um, I'm just trying to work out. Is it worth? It probably isn't worth using Uncar's ability on it. But if I just roll a bunch of rubbish, okay. So I can do on Kai's ability uh, here. I can do that, turn that to the, <laughs> take three, one, two, three, and then I can do on Kai's ability and get another one. Royal Guard die for the DL for sure. <laughs> he got confused thinking I'd taken the that for that, forgetting that obviously I remove it for the DL forty four. Uh, right, so I've got five. I think I just played the blackmail out now. I mean uh for me you claimed <laughs> he's got himself a bit confused i am going to put this out i mean it could be really wrong but i want to shift attention from one car and if i could discard like three cards or something I mean, I need to win this game co quickly. I haven't got a no disintegrations in there yet, so I'll discard that. I'm not going to play con artist. I need removal. And I've got some. That is okay. Uh, right, I did get my two, didn't I? Did they bounce on top of it? No, I didn't get my two. Right, yeah, so he's just rolling Poe straight in. Boom. Hello. Oh, okay. So the chances of rolling a one side are pretty big. <sighs> Fascinating. Um, I'm going to have to electroshock one of the Poe sides. Oh, this is rubbish. One of the Poe dice, that's a lot of damage. There's just nothing I can do about that. I mean, if it rolls a one or the focus, it's just going to be horrific. I think the best thing to do here is use an electroshock whilst I can use an electroshock. Uh, I'll flank whatever comes next. And let's, yeah, move that. Otherwise, it could be another thermal detonator. I have to go for the pole dice. Plus 
Playing out 3PO. Oh my goodness, I can get rid of the other Poe dice. That's really cool. Right, let's flank the other Poe die away. I don't know if that was the right play to get that 3PO out then. Yeah, he's going. Just trying to get lots of dice out. Um, I think. What do I do? I get armor plating out. Or do I roll that? I think I get armor plating out. Just to be safe with Onkar, as safe as you can be. Right. Oh my goodness, this is hard work. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Great. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. So that, he takes one. And then he can kill him. He's forgotten about my armor plating, I think. Go on, Stan. I think he's going to resolve the other three and kill Lunker. Oh, maybe he's been intercepted by an important other or something. thinking about it. <laughs> He's thinking about it. What's he doing? Have I missed something really obvious here? Did he just roll in Maz? Am I being a doofus? Oh, so sorry. <laughs> I'm being a plunker. He just rolled in Maz. Do we now two? So in that case then we will Royal Guard for the one. could actually disarm that which is quite good fun so let's do that because why not we'll pay one and we'll disarm uh, well what, that one that's probably pose isn't it it might be pose I think it was Poe's because it seemed to be in front of Poe. We'll go with that one. Now, many of you might be screaming at me. Why did you just do that instead of the loose ends? And that might be a very good question. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Yeah, it was the three three damage was off the Maz the, exactly. That's why it was a uh, all a bit. Getting a bit funky there for a while. So he's got the one damage, which can kill the Royal Guard. But we're still going to be keeping these alive. Uh, let's roll that on car. Just to threaten him, because now he might just think twice. He's got something massive in hand, which I'm hoping for. 
Can I do the one? Kill the rogue, come on, do it, do it, do it. Maz is there, like with pistol, held to the royal guard's head. <laughs> Ooh, controversial. Oops. So he goes for that. No, he probably hasn't got any other damage going on, so let's um let's do this. Because this helps to show us what we can have a looky look at with uh what's he got in his hand to see whether we want to do a nice big oh yeah, uh, we'll get rid of that. Oh the interrogation droids just set you up for such a lovely big on car I just love it here we go then next one oh <laughs> there's another one yeah we'll remove that um, now I'd really like to get a loose ends out um, three shields would be nice blackmail die or a blank that's fine but we can loose ends here uh, So we we'll hit the two for loose ends. We'll remove that. Top four. Top banana. Oh my goodness, he's running block and dodge. Fascinating. And then. Why not? Let's do a big on-car ability <laughs> for a zero. Great. Okay. So, how many cars have you got left in deck? 14 still. Yeah, I haven't been able to be defensive enough. I probably needed to have taken more resources. But I mean, there's every good. Oh, here we go. But there's, I mean, there's every good chance, of course, in this deck that he's running loads of great big, um, nice expensive things. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's two dead characters. And yeah, and you can kill the royal guard. If he even wants to, he could just chuck it all into. Do we do them both? Well, this is looking like pretty GG at this rate, isn't it? Um, I mean, I really don't think there's going to be any back from this. I haven't got any upgrades to play out. A salvage stand isn't going to go off. He's still got a lot of cards left in his deck. Oops, sorry guys. I just haven't been able to be fast enough here. He can't pay the one, so I'll hit him for three discard, which is cool, I guess. But... He's got all the tools to do whatever he needs. Boosh. There's the roll. You got the special. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's a, uh, that's a hit for two, isn't it? Uh... We will discard for three. Oh, planetary uprising. Nasty. All right, he's up to six. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can stop him doing a reroll. Uh, yep, yeah, great. Get rid of it. 
can't, I don't think, unless it was a blank. <laughs> they weren't. Feel your anger. <laughs> Funny. Uh, love it. Yeah, he's claiming. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get loose ends off. This is funny. Imperial inspection. Uh, it's actually possibly not the worst. Can I even roll? Yes, I can roll disruptor with that. Oh no. I should get rid of the failure anger. What's going to be better? Imperial inspection is probably going to be slightly better than salvage stand. Um, <laughs> it's just, I mean, I just want to try and get that. Oh, I haven't got the resources for loose ends anyway. But I might do. Let's see if this can roll the one. Hey! <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we'll do that. We'll play the loose ends, which will make it feel a little bit closer at the end of the game here. But I mean, it isn't going to be anything. I've got one health point to play with. Down to his last five guards, but yeah. Him getting that thermal detonator off early. I feel like salvage, my uh, salvage stand. I mean, imperial inspection early would have really butchered him because he got a lot of damage in the end out of his. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, in that case, I he's going to do two damage. Even if I claim, I mean, yeah, GG. Um, cool, right. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll just tell him I'll debrief. Um, we'll have a chat. I'll debrief now. Um, okay. Uh, I'll close room. Right, let's have a chat about Uncar's misfits. It's more like it's less Uncar's misfits, and it feels at the moment more like Christian's misplays. <laughs> I did just make myself laugh a bit then. Um, so let's have a look here. This deck seems hella intense to pilot. <laughs> just feel a bit like that but that's control and I love playing control decks because it makes me think it makes me engage and I want to feel like I'm in control of the matchup saying so let me just change to full screen so I'm playing another game for a bit now right there we go so right yeah that Pomaz was a little I mean, it wasn't that it was different I think uh, that's a fairly standard build of Poe Maz. I think the thing is that um, we had just not so many specials going off. He rolled into range damage quite a lot, and if he's got the resources, then he can play it. Um, so we're, we're running um, Otter Gunga, because of course we're a mill deck, basically. Um, so we don't mind them <laughs> getting health back when they claim. That's no issue. Um, so, and just to remind everyone, this is Uncar's Misfits, which is um, the swdestiny.com, uh, I believe it's called Destiny Council. Mike, if you're still watching, just confirm that for me. Um, and just a bunch of players who uh, sort of have come together to build this deck. And I've got to say, I really like this deck, it feels really cool. Um, I didn't see enough of the defensive cards in that game early on. I was seeing loose ends, I was seeing uh, no disintegrations, I was seeing uh, what con artist. I mean, those are just. those aren't cards that you want to see early in the game against Pomaz because all you're interested in is your armor platings, your hunker downs, your, um, and all your removal. Um, so that's a, I've got to say though, of all the Uncar builds that I've played with in terms of feeling competitive, this one's really, really strong. Um, 
so Steve, if you're asking which one I think is the best. Now I know I've played two games of it and lost both of those, but I mean the first game was just a clear, was just clear misplay, uh, and and the deck should have won that game. That was just piloting error, trying to get my head around playing it and not spotting the obvious uh, play. The second game, um, I mean. I didn't feel like I got steamrolled by Pomaz. I mean, I hadn't done five cards at the end there, so uh, what did it go? Five rounds? So that's okay. Destiny Council, yeah. There we go. Um, now look, there's. Uh, I mean, I hadn't done five cards at the end, and and as I said, there was a lot of the defensive cards that were in the deck that I just didn't see. Now that is a bit frustrating. You can always say in the first game as well that I didn't see those removal cards and you saw the last eight that I turned out earlier on in the stream and it was full of removal. Um, so okay, variants, I mean I think if we're going, uh, yeah I think Brandon, I mean it is an idea to have Night Sister but I think the whole idea of having Royal Guard is, is the Guardian ability keeps your Uncar and keeps your Type Pilot alive. And he's not there to really do anything else himself. He also brings two shields in his die, which is really quite good. And he's got a two and a two on his side, and the worm, which helps to fuel Unkar. Um, and Night Sister, whilst, yeah, there's that cool ability for a reroll, I don't think she's really gonna. She's one less hit point, she hasn't got the Guardian. Um, I mean, really, that, that Guardian I think is quite important for keeping. Uncar alive and drawing some of that damage away, um, and I think the reroll was was solid in Awakenings. It just feels a bit too slow to be really competitive in the new in this meta. Um, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it'd be rubbish to try it. I mean, you might want to try it. My sister's also got a discard on. She has got two range sides as well, um, which if you then combine it with, but you, you don't want to be doing damage yes you could do five damage out of that and the other one but you, you want it for the for the things like the disarms and the, and so on so yeah um, you could try it but I, th I think I think the guys who built this have probably thought of that and that's why they probably lean towards uh, using the, the Royal Guard um, other good things about this deck then uh, I really like how, I mean we've got quite a few hit points in there and then things like the armour plating in there are just adding on though, they're just eking out your hit points and what you can do is you can work out where your opponent's resources are being focused on you, which characters they're trying to take out and you've got things like um, your armour plating and your hunker downs to focus on those characters then and try and keep shielding them up so that's, I, I, like, I like that in the deck um, Interrogation Droid is just such a cool card anyway, and and in this he really works. Um, and it's largely because he gives you a chance, it, it's, it's a bit like a not such a good friends in low places, you, you're getting to see something out of their hand. Um, and of course if it's an event, uh, yeah, you're quite happy to get rid of it. Um, you know, Unless it's a really expensive event, you might leave it in there because you want to try and hit it with Uncar's ability, but most of the time you're happy to just strip it out. And you know that interrogation droid, if you know, he, he's going to take a card every turn, um, and and he's giving you more information each time about Uncar. Um, so for your Uncar, it's really good. I, that's a really really nice uh, little sort of combination there. I love being able to use the three side on the TIE Pilot for Uncar's ability as well, I think that makes a really good value and the Royal Guard of course has got the two two sides on so he's really good value to add into that. Um, so the character dice just feel really quite solid in this deck uh, and of course you know Uncar's character dice are really good. In both of those games I didn't feel like the Salvage Stand and the Imperial Inspection, like I got them when I needed them, I got to use them, I, I didn't feel like that deck got to a point where it was really set up and really singing with that control. Um, but then in both of those games the players were looking to get out and ramp up into those three plus
cost decks, so that's cool. Um, I like. Okay, so here we go. So Mike um, is saying that he likes to take out salvage stand and the con artist to put in two prize possession. Now, of course, the one thing I really do like about prize possession um, is um, oh wow, Steve's pretty pretty local. Actually, grew up in Kidderminster, Steve. <laughs> So we're just pretty much next town on. Anyway, um, I think the thing with uh, prize possession is it's really lovely in that Poe matchup. I mean, it's just going to be great in that matchup. It's good in a Palk matchup, and it's good in a Vader matchup, which are kind of the, the big character decks that you are likely to come up against. Um, so I think that's uh, a brilliant change. Losing a salvage stand, though, interesting i feel like when we're playing things like confiscation and all that so is there any particular reason why you went for that mike um rather than take uh, <laughs> you just feel you couldn't take anything else out um yeah because i mean i'm not going to make any changes just based on the couple of plays that i've had there i mean i need to play another you know four five six games really um probably all against pomas and vader raiders to really feel like it's this, or maybe, I mean, this thing is second chance decks, and my deck's going to win against it. I mean, so it's it's, it's going to mill, I think, faster than pretty much any second chance deck out there, and they're obviously not going to do much damage, so, um, well, that's true, actually, yes. Salvage Stand is a sort of an extra over and above the fact that you, you have got Unkar, who can roll disrupts quite easily. Um, and you're slow, they can pay for the upgrades for your rollout anyway, because most of the time you aren't going to be claiming that battlefield. So, um, yeah, the minus one salvage stand um, frees up a nice slot there, and I think for something like prize possession would be really good. Um, or you're just going for some more mitigation. Uh, if we're running blue, um, I'd be thinking something like you know, Force Illusion. Uh, I mean, would it be worth having something like Personal Shield in? I mean, it's quite expensive at two, uh, and it has got two blanks, which is a pain. But it's got a three side, which is great with on car, um, and shields are shields. You know, yes, okay, there's lots of vibra knife around, um, but we can deal with vibra knife because we're running imperial inspection, so and confiscation. So, uh, yeah, that's that's interesting actually. That's um, that's a possible little thing. But as I said, I'm not going to make any changes yet. I think this deck could be good. I, I need to play it a lot more against uh, Pomas and Vader Raider, but it feels like it's got the removal. It feels like it can mill really quite quickly, um, and it feels like it's got a good amount of hit points. Uh, I, I think a three character deck is just going to lose games where it gets hit with thermal detonators. And the big thing you've got to make sure you don't get hit with <laughs> is a thermal detonator against Pomas. Um, I think that's, that's the big problem with it, and th that's that's just a conundrum that every deck is trying to solve at the moment. Um, you know, there's very little you can do about it. If they draw it and they hit and run Poe, I mean, that's what's going to happen. You know, so I think you just you just need to acknowledge that uh, you have to build as much mitigation into your deck as you can. And just sometimes they're going to get those thermal debts off. Uh, yeah, that person should. He, yeah, Mike say he'd be even better than armor plating. And yeah, I think I think personal shield could be a good include in it, especially with that three for three shield. So yeah, I I could make some changes to it, but I'm not going to play a couple more games with it yet. As I said, four, five, six games, and then make some uh, make some changes on it there. Anyway. I'm going to stop streaming for a bit, because it feels like a lot of talking, <laughs> you guys must get sick of me talking. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, plan for the next things that I'll do is I'm going to play some more of Uncar's Misfits, and just to try and work out, because the thing is, there's no point running a deck that finds Poe Maz a hard matchup. I mean, everything finds Poe Maz a hard matchup, uh, you know, I, I'll freely admit that. but. You know, I need to be 
having a build that's comfortable against Pomaz. Um, and the plan is, because Europeans are next weekend now, so, uh, sorry, two weekends, is that right? Two weekends, yeah, they're two weekends away, um, is I really, I want to spend quite a bit of time playing on Cars Misfits because I think it's looking good, um, and really give it a proper hard test against Pomaz. If it is cutting the mustard against Pomaz, great, it'll probably be the deck I end up running. If not, then Pomaz and heavy Pomaz testing is going to kick in. Um, with a sort of a Vader Raider build, maybe on the back burner to also try. So that's the plan. I feel like those are the right ones. I know I'm not mentioning second chance ammo belt. Um, I'm not mentioning, um, well actually I'm looking at aggro or imperial inspection type builds aren't I, really, that's, that's what feels good. Um, I think second chance ammo belt, I think those decks are just not quite consistent enough to defend themselves against Pomaz, uh, probably even Vader Raider for that matter, and I don't think, um, and they haven't got a chance really against something like Uncar's Misfits. So, Ah, great. Yeah, we'll see you then, Michael. Maybe with a couple of others of you. Anyway, um, I'm off. Uh, so, yeah, until the next one, keep enjoying Destiny, gang. See you now.